Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today I will be unboxing the Panasonic RPHD 605N noise canceling headphones. Sit down, relax, and enjoy my show. Let's start my intro. Okay, let's go ahead and start the show. Now, today we are unboxing the Panasonic RPHD 605N wireless noise canceling headphones. Now, these are Bluetooth headphones and uh, they do have Qualcomm AppX and LDAC, which is pretty cool. So, there are high res audio. Now, these retailed for $249.99. But at the moment, Amazon has them on sale for $195. Now, I picked up the brown ones. I actually picked these up on eBay and I got them for less than $100. Now, these were open box and I thought that was a good deal. So, let's go ahead and open these up. Now, this is the box. Now, these are the brown versions. I think they look pretty cool, um, but at the price that I got them, I was not gonna complain for the color. So let's go ahead and open them up. First glance, this is Panasonic there. And we do have the case, which is nice. We do get a manual and we also get the accessories now let's first check the accessories and see what we get so we do get a cable a charging cable and this is a generic cable and the auxiliary cable this part looks nice but it still looks like it's a generic cable. There's no branding logos or nothing. They are gold plated and uh, they seem okay. This one's actually one of those nice soft cables. So I'll give them kudos for that one, even though it's not a brand cable. And this one is just a generic cable. There is an airplane adapter, which, uh, I don't know what kind of what airlines still use these, but the ones that I've used don't use these anymore. That being said, let's check out the case. The case has this nice soft, kind of like a leather material. Actually feels pretty cool. There's no branding logos there. Just in the front, it says Panasonic. Wow. At first glance, that's pretty cool. It has this little pocket. That's nice. I do like the case. Let's check out the headphones themselves. The headphones, the, they do feel like they have nice memory foam. Inside, they're a little stiff. On top, the leather feels uh, nice. On the side, it says Panasonic right there very cool I love this though the volume rocker just like the, on the JBL the Quincy uh, Jones editions that I reviewed if you want to see those Quincy Jones I'll leave links below so you guys can check those out but I love these also on the kicker headphones uh, the Tabers they also have uh, a slider for your volume and this is this is what I, I I like when manufacturers put these and I've said it before on my other videos this is great when they put these sliders as your volume rocker so you have a uh, noise canceling button power button and down here you have your charging port and then you have your 3.5 port for your cable everything feels nice 
Now this is plastic there. I really don't like that. That kind of sucks. And they feel stiff from the top, man. But we'll see. I'll let you guys know. That was my unboxing. Stay tuned. And then I'll be back with the review. Okay, so we're back and after a few days of testing these headphones out, I'm very confident I can give you guys a good review. Now today we are reviewing the Panasonic RP-HD605N wireless noise canceling Bluetooth headphones. Now these retail for around $249. They do have them on Amazon at the moment for $195. So just so you guys know that, but are they worth the money? Let's take a look. Okay, now let's move on to the accessories. Now the first accessory we do get is a micro USB cable. It's just a generic one, not very impressed. And then we also get this um, auxiliary cable. This one looks pretty good. It is gold plated, but it doesn't have any branding logos or anything, but it does feel like a nice cable put that to the side and then my favorite part of the accessories is this nice carrying case it says Panasonic there it has this leather feel and inside there is a compartment with another little pocket and you also get an airport adapter if you you're coming from my um, my unboxing I'm sure you guys saw that but I put that away but you know very nice so I do like the case and for the price that these were retailing, um, I'm, I was expecting a nice case and sure enough, they gave us a nice case. Now for the accessories, I'm going to give them thumbs up. Now let's move on to the hardware. Okay. Now let's move on to the hardware. Now I like how these headphones look now. They, these are the brown model. And it says Panasonic there. Very nice. And it has these uh, metallic uh, finish areas. They look very cool. Now this is aluminum right there. Now the band is plastic, which I'm not a fan of, especially because these headphones are so pricey that they can break from there. So I don't like that Panasonic. I wish you guys should have done uh, aluminum bands now the the top of it feels very nice and soft but inside it's pretty hard there's not that many that much pad inside um, inside the pads on the ear cups they feel pretty nice and they feel very soft you can tell they're memory foam so I'm happy with that and then also you can see the drivers. Now they do swivel, as you can see there, they swivel flat, but I do like that you can see the drivers inside. That's pretty cool. I do like that. And then also it, right there, you can see the L. Now these are aluminum as well. And on the other side it has the R for the right. So that's cool. Now this is also another of my favorite parts of the hardware is this slider and I know I said it on the unboxing but this is just awesome it just works so good and I I hope other manufacturers uh, see this and realize that these uh, sliders are is the way to go now this is also a button and is it if you press it down it is your play and pause and also to uh, answer and then phone calls so you do have your noise canceling button your power button and then down here it is your uh, micro USB port to charge the device you there is some microphones and then on this side it is the port 3.5 millimeter port for your cable and that's pretty much it for the the build quality I do like it the only complaint is this plastic right there on the band I wish it was aluminum but other than that I do like the construction so I'm gonna give Panasonic thumbs up 
Now let's move on to the stretch test. Okay, now let's move on to the stretch test. Now I'm a little bit nervous for the test because this is plastic and we're gonna see how they're gonna hold up. I'm hoping they don't break. So now I, I usually do this test for people that wanna buy these headphones. And if you have a big head, you wanna see how much they can stretch out. So this, this test is for you guys. So let's go ahead and do it. And now I already opened them up. One, two, three. There goes another one. Now they made a little bit of noise in the beginning, but after that, they adjusted and there's no more noise. Um, but like I said, this is plastic. Remember that they could break. So they still pass the stretch test. Now let's move on to the sound quality. Okay, now let's move on to the sound quality. Now some of the albums I used to test these headphones out, I did play some Linkin Park, some Joe Hisashi, some Shaggy, and some Adan Chalino Sanchez. Now I did try out some more, but those are the ones that I remember. Now I use these headphones for around 15 hours, so I broke them in already. And I do remember that after around seven hours, um, that's when I started hearing better sound. Keep that in mind. I would suggest you guys uh, burn these headphones in for at least seven hours. Usually I burn them in for around 10 hours to make sure, you know, I get the best quality, but I did notice, because I was using these headphones a lot, um, I, will, I edited some videos and I played a lot of music. So um, let's talk first about the bass. Now the bass is more like a balanced bass. You can hear it, but it's not gonna rattle your head. It's nothing like that. It kind of reminds me uh, the, the the whole sound quality on these headphones, the sound uh, signature reminds me of the Bose headphones. Um, has the bass is good, and uh, you can hear the separation between the bass and the mids. But if you're a bass head and you only want bass, you you might look somewhere else. But if you you know if you're neutral and you like bass but you like to hear everything else very clearly, you're gonna enjoy these headphones. The bass was nice. Um, you can feel it, but it's not gonna rattle your head. It's not gonna sound like the Beats headphones or something like that. Keep that in mind. But I did like the bass. It still sounded pretty cool. Now let's move on to the mids and the highs. Okay, now let's move on to the mids and the highs. Now, I feel like this is where these headphones shine. The mids were impressive. They sounded very clear. Vocals, uh, male and female, came in very nice, clear. I was very happy with that. I enjoyed it. Um, the sound stage was pretty cool as well. But the only thing with these headphones and the sound quality is I wish they got a little bit louder. And uh, now let's move on with the highs. The highs sounded very clear as well. They were good, but they were not excellent. I've heard other headphones with better highs, but they were still clear. Uh, instruments came in very clear. Guitar, uh, piano, they came in very nice and very enjoyable with these headphones. So I was happy with the mids and the highs. Now let's move on to my final thoughts. Okay, now let's move on to my final thoughts. Now, in the beginning of the review, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? And at $250 that they were retailing for, I think that's a little bit steep. And at 195 that they're going on Amazon, I feel like they're still pretty pricey. At $150 or less, I think that is where I would recommend these headphones. I picked these up for less than 100. Um, but if you can find them for 150 or less, I think that's a pretty good buy. 
Now let's first talk about the music. I was streaming everything um, from Tidal and I was using LDAC. So just keep that in mind. Now I did, uh, like I told you guys, I've been using these for about 15 hours. So I broke them in already. Um, another thing is the Bluetooth range is around 50 feet, which is definitely above average. Uh, the average is around 30 feet. So that's pretty cool. If you want to talk on the phone, these are very good. The microphones are really nice. So I did enjoy that as well. And also the tech that these headphones were to me was very cool. And it reminded me of the Sony headphones um, where you're talking. If, if you're listening to music and somebody needs to talk to you or you need to hear your surrounding, all you do is uh, cup the right uh, ear cup and um, it, it lowers down the volume and it turns on the mic so you can hear your surroundings or whoever's talking to you. You can hear them clearly. So I was very impressed with that. Um, the build quality is pretty cool, except for this part. I was a little bit disappointed with that. I wish these were aluminum. So maybe Panasonic on the next one, they can put some aluminum in there. The, the accessories were pretty good for the most part, especially the carrying case. This is what I expect for headphones that retail for that much money. So I do recommend them. If you can find them for $150 or less, that's what I would recommend. At $195, in my opinion, they're a little bit pricey for that. And also, I wished that these headphones got just a bit louder um i know i'm a little bit nitpicking but for the retail price of uh, 250 dollars i feel like they can do something like that they can raise a little bit the volume it's nitpicking because there's still the the volume is still pretty good but i wish that you can crank it up just a little bit and then i want to the the slider for the volume rocker is amazing i love that so that was my unboxing and my review. Also, the battery life on these headphones is off the chain. It's around 30 hours, which is very impressive. Um, it's they're still running on the first charge. Then when I when I got them, I've only used these headphones for around 15 hours, so they still have probably half a battery left to go. So I'm gonna keep using them and uh i'm very impressed with these headphones very nice they're good i recommend them if you can find them for 150 dollars or less that was my unboxing and my review check out all my videos subscribe thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time